I sold and packaged four things today, and now Haley and I are getting ready to take off for the Mount Hood area. You heard a rattlesnake? Yeah. The bird. That? Is that a rattlesnake? I think it's a grasshopper. Yeah, I think it's a grasshopper too. Whoa. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Got this fog rolling in. Yeah. We made it to the top, Back. and Mabel Back. has been whining non-stop for like 20 minutes, getting really old. Um, so we didn't realize that um, there's a huge race going on right now. It's, uh, it's the race from Mount Hood to the coast, and I think it's a running race. So it is, it is real busy here. There's like horses and everything. It's crazy. Mabel is wearing her own backpack this time. She's carrying her water bowl. Just got home from Mount Hood and now I'm taking off again because it is Thursday and I'm going to this auction called uh, Out of the Box Auction. And it starts at 6.30 and I wanted to get there a little bit earlier than I, than I am, but yeah, I wanted to get there a little bit earlier than now because uh, you can get there up to an hour early to view the items and uh, do your research, just basically find out what they're going to be auctioning off. But I'm gonna get there just about in time for it to all start, which is all right. Um, do some quick research on the, the things that I know about. I got uh, about a hundred bucks. I don't know if I'm going to spend any of it, but that's how much I am prepared to spend. And hopefully I get a few good items that I can, and I can get, uh, and I plan on cleaning up everything and getting pictures taken tonight so I can spend, you know, like three or four hours tomorrow listing. Look at this dude's auction truck. Paul Thomas. Three, four, five dollars. Better number is one, two, five. One, oh, six. Go ten, eleven, 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 jabs in little jokes in between the you know like five dollar five dollar five dollar i can't I can't do the auctioning auctioneer thing and this guy's no different uh little jokes here and there but this guy makes like fart noises a lot too he'll be like five dollars better five dollars five dollars five dollars five dollars bid on it and he uses different voices and uh I don't know, this guy's a goofball it was, it was, and then every time he would make a fart noise or use a different voice, the, the woman who was like holding the items would repeat whatever it was. So he'd be like, $5, $5, bid on it. And then she would be like, bid on it. And then he would fart and she would fart. It was a show in there. It was worth it not even buying anything. So I've been trying to hit eBay really hard this week just to uh, prep my store for when my brother's here. But I have not had good luck finding things at the outlet. Uh, this will be my third day in a row going, and 
yesterday I uh, came home with like a small bag and same with the day before. I did find a, it's called, it's called the hard boiled helmet and it's an old fireman's helmet. And I haven't looked it up. Some of those can go for quite a bit. So that, that might be a good find. Um, but right now I'm heading to get some more boxes. I used pretty much, I think I, think I have one box left at home. So I gotta prep myself for whatever sells between now and tomorrow morning. That should hold me off for at least another week. Hopefully I won't have to go and get more boxes while uh, Joel is here. All right, it is about 3.20 and I'm going to spend the next couple hours at the outlet and hopefully they bring out some good stuff. about an hour so far and so far I've been having pretty good luck no home runs or anything but my cart is pretty much full I haven't went through it yet so not everything that's in the cart right now is going to stay in the cart but um, gonna have plenty to list before Joel gets here of stuff. Probably too much stuff to, to process before Joel gets here. I've been searching for the best Mexican restaurant in Portland since I moved here. I've probably eaten at I don't know, like 40 or so different restaurants. And for a while I was writing down everyone and uh, just keeping track of what I liked and what I didn't like about it just so I could, it would help the process of finding the best. Um, but when I got a new phone, somehow that whole file got erased. So all of that, that time and effort put into it is uh, gone. But this place is pretty good. I think I'd rate it like a seven out of 10. It's a, uh, it's, it's a little special. I'm, I'm mostly eat there just because uh, it's it's on the way home from the outlet, so it's just an easy spot to go to if I do decide to go out to eat. <laughs> 